A'udzu billahi minasyaitonir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Bismillahi wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillahi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, sa pangalan po ng uh, nag-iisang Diyos, ang mapagpala at ang mahabagin, ang pagpupuri po ay sa nag-iisang Diyos lamang. Ang Diyos nating lahat, Muslim, Kristiyano, Hudyo, Buddhist, Hindu, isa lang po ang ating tagapaglikha. At uh, ang ating pong salmo na ibigay ang awa at kapayapaan sa lahat ng mga propeta. Uh, isang magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Opo, uh, isa pong uh, makasaysayang uh, umaga uli at uh, tayo po ay uh, pinagpala na ang atin pong issue uh, ngayon ay pinag-uusapan. Ito po ay tagumpay ng aming komite. Ito pong komite namin ng public information and mass media. Ito po ang nais namin Uh, mapalawak ang issue na ito, hindi po para uh, hindi po kasi kami huwes. Hindi kami judge. Hindi din po kami nagsasabi kung sino ang guilty. Wala po kaming karapatan na magsabi nun. Nandito po tayo lahat para makalinang tayo ng mga batas na makakatulong sa ating bansa. At makapagbigay din po tayo ng mga uh, bagong Masasabi natin kung ano yung mga obsolete na mga codes and ano din, ay eh mapalitan. Hindi po ito uh, isang bagay para mag-clash tayo. O hindi po ganun. Tayo po ay nandito lahat para makatulong sa bayan. At ang bawat paglalahad po dito ay napakahalaga. Ang lahat po dito may karapatan. Kaya po sa ating uh, ikatlong pagdinig ng kumiting ito, Pisyal na po nating binubuksan ang ating pampublikong pagdinig. This public hearing is hereby called to order. Nais po nating ipakilala ang ating uh, pagdating niya, ang, ating, ang nagpatawag po ng uh, hearing na to, ang ating pong uh, mahal na uh, uh, Senate Pro Tempor, Senator uh, Jingoy Estrada, pababa na po siya. Habang wala siya, ay atin po munang kilalanin ang ating mga bisita at ito po ay ipakikilala ng ating committee secretary Binibining Bernadine Mahinay. Uh, magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Um, our guests this morning from the Department of Justice, we have State Counsel Nancy G. Lozano. From the National Bureau of Investigation, we have Attorney Marie Catherine Nolasco Eliascas, Chief of the Public Corruption Division. We have Attorney Zulaika Marie Conales, uh, Senior Investigator, and also the Chief of the Behavioral Science Division, Ms. Robelin Lumampao. For the GMA Network, we have Attorney Fidel Asuncion, Labor Relations Manager, and Attorney Angelo Jocno, uh, Litigation and Special Projects Lawyer. Um, joining us virtually, Mr. Chair, we have Mr. Sandro Mulak together with his legal counsel, Attorney Jarina Quintanilla Raz, who will also join us virtually. Uh, but uh, present at present, we have Mr. Nino Mulak and counsel, Attorney Andrea Paula Herrera Lim. Uh, also with us, physically present, are Mr. Jojo Nones, Mr. Richard Cruz, together with their legal counsel, Attorney Maggie Abraham Garduque, and Attorney Adonai Jan Aslarona. We also have uh, with us physically Mr. Gerald Santos and his legal counsel, Attorney Ferdinand Topasio. Sir. Maraming salamat po, uh, Binibining Mahinay. Uh, gusto ko pong simulan ito ng tanong sa aming uh, kaibigan, uh, Mr. Nino Mulak. Kamusta po kayo? Your Honor, uh, I'm doing well. Um, and I'm also um, happy na medyo nakagaan-gaan na ng loob ko nung magmula nung na-file na namin yung case kanina umaga po. Ah, okay. Uh, kanina pong umaga, nakapag-file na po kayo ng case? Ah, yes po. Opo, galing po kayo sa... Galing po kami sa DOJ. Ngayon? Yes po. Ah, opo. Uh, 
Tatanungin ko lang po ang legal counsel po ninyo. Yes, uh, Ma'am, hanggang saan po pwede nating pag-usapan? Nakapag-file na pala po kayo. Uh, Mr. Senator? Ah, sa dahil lang po, Ma'am. Uh, kilalalin lang po natin ang uh, aming Senate Pro Tempor, uh, Senator Jingoy Estrada. Uh, Senator, magandang uh, umaga po. Good morning. Uh, one, one minute po lang po, uh, suspension. Okay, ma'am. Sorry po. Ma'am, pakituloy po. Ma'am, hanggang saan po ang pwede natin pag-usapan? Yes. Uh, Mr. Senator, can I defer to Attorney Sharina Raj? Attending online. Sige po. At, um... uh, magandang umaga po. Ako po si Attorney Sharina Raz. Um, abogado po ni Sandra Mulak. Uh, kasama ko siya ngayon. At totoo po, nag-file na po kami this morning. And, um, Um, as to hanggang saan po, pwede ko natin pag-usapan kung ano po yung isinampan namin ng criminal charges. Pero po sa mismong mga nitigrity details po, huwag po muna kasi po hindi pa po natatanggap ng kabilang kampo yung aming complaint. So, ayun po. Maraming salamat po, uh, Senator Jingoy. Uh, NBI, Attorney Laika. Nagsubmit na ba na affidavit si Attorney Annette? Good morning, yes, Your Honor. Morning. Yes, Your Honor. Can sure. I have a copy? Can we have a copy? The Bureau will provide a copy of the case folder, Your Honor. Right uh, now. From... So I can, we can read it. May I refer to my chief, Your Honor? Sige po, ma'am. Ma'am, Attorney Marie Catherine R. Nolasco Ilescas. Ma'am, ato. Uh, good morning, Your Honors. Uh, yun pong statement ni Miss Annette, uh, Annette Gozon is part of the evidence po na sinabmit po namin kanina sa DOJ. Uh, siguro pa in confidence po, we could share it with you. Because the affidavit will... Our questions will be based on the affidavit uh, submitted by by Attorney Annette. With due respect po, Your Honor, uh, hindi pa po namin na-provide yung kabilang partido ng uh, kopya po ng buong, ano, kas, ng buong uh, final po namin, including the evidence. Kaya uh, sa katunayan, meron pa po kaming iniintay na certification from DOJ para ma-officially accept nila po yung aming final na kaso po. Both of them are present, Your Honor, as well as the Council Attorney Maggie Abraham Gorduke, Your Honor. Your Honor, we confirm that we have not received any copy yet because they have just filed uh, the complaint today, Your Honor, and under the rules, Your Honor, um, uh, they should provide us the copy through the Department of Justice, Your Honor, of the copy of the complaint. We have to read it first, assess all the evidence and all the allegations so that we can answer accordingly, Your Honor. And also with due respect to this honorable uh, commission, committee, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, um, under the a landmark case of Bengzon versus Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, Your Honor, since the jurisdiction now of the case is before the Department of Justice. And I think that a representative of the Department of Justice is present today. May we know, Your Honor, if we are allowed to um, to tell uh, to to tell in details uh, anything about this case, Your Honor, because this would be tantamount to uh, there would be conflicting judgment in case we would investigate it now. Salamat po, Attorney Maggie Abraham Garduke. Ma'am, Attorney Nancy G. Luzano, meron pong tanong. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Good morning, everyone. Um, sir, with due respect po also, um, uh, may we request po to, to, for the DOJ to, to first uh, uh, officially uh, uh, receive the, the case because we We, we know that the, the case was filed this morning so but it was uh uh received by our docket section so it will be uh course through or it will be uh 
uh, assigned to a specific prosecutor. So right now po, uh, in so far as to the evidence um, and documents submitted to the DOJ, uh, we 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 cannot uh, uh, provide yet this committee uh, those documents because we we do not want to uh uh yeah. yes sir but but like the the as what the NBI said but we can give it to you but con on confidential or in confidence but just to to help the 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 committee to 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 assess what would be the 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 course of action to be taken in so far as to to strengthen our laws on uh, sexual harassment cases po. but right now po we cannot provide po those documents po. Thank All you right. po. Uh, I heard that Mr. Gerard Santos is here. Can we just dispose of him right away? Abo abo uh to to Sandro Mulak and uh Apo kasama po natin ngayon uh, Senator si Mr. Gerald Santos yes, kasama po ang ating uh, si Attorney Ferdinand Tupacio. Okay. Good morning po. I heard that uh, only in Facebook. Huh? I heard your uh, rants in... Uh, I read your rants in Facebook. Yes po. What happened? This happened 2005. Am I correct? Yes po. You're only 15 years old? Yes po, oh. Your Honor. Uh, um, yes, uh, 2005 po nangyari. And uh, nilabas ko po ito noong 2010. Why did it take you five years? Uh, dahil po sa takot po sa kahihiyan dahil po nung time na yon ay hindi pa naman po katulad ng panahon po ngayon na uh, mas open na po ang lahat and you should have filed the complaint uh, immediately after that you were sexually harassed uh, ang nangyari po kasi noon your honor ay uh, wow well, gusto po namin mag pursue ng legal action but uh, yung nakausap po namin lawyer at that time, parang uh, tapos na raw po yung prescription period. Okay, assuming that you filed the complaint uh, uh, with GMA, correct? Yes po. In Five years after? Yes po. Uh, did the GMA 7 take action on it? Uh, wala pong clear na, na resolution po na nakarating po sa amin. I have my copy here. Oh, uh, suspended and terminated the services of uh, the one who sexually harassed you. Uh, po ako in At hindi na nakabalik. Nila. Hindi siya na nakabalik. I will and, not mention the name already because you know you know his name, of course. Yes po. Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, GMA7 took action on it. Took ac uh, action on your complaint. Diba? You wrote uh, to have it. Yes po, and uh, attorney you, Philippe uh, Gozon po. Attorney Gozon, Felipe Gozon. Oh, inaksyonan inaksyonan lahat, dinerminate yung services nung, nung musical director, correct? Yes po. Oh. Uh, ang nangyari nga lang po ay, uh, kasi po uh, yung musical director po na ito ay connected po sa mga ibang executives po dun sa loob. So, ako po ay na, napag-initan po dun sa loob. Uh, so kahit na kumbaga naalis naalis nga po siya naalis din po ako sa network. Uh, yun po yung nangyari po your honor. Oh, diba, umingi ka rin ng release, di ba? Umingi ka na release sa GMA, correct? Uh, release po sa GMA Artist yes. Center at that yeah. time. But yeah. we wanted po na maging under the GMA itself. Hmm. I have a copy here of uh determination in the document terminating the person who harassed you and it was signed by the senior vice president entertainment tv wilma galvante oh hindi po nakarating po sa amin yan your honor you hindi to, po talaga you want me to provide a copy you want me to provide a copy uh, ayan no sorry po <laughs> ibig sabihin hindi mo alam na inaksyon na ng GMA7 uh nabalitaan ko lamang po na wala na po siya sa GMA but since wala po kaming na na receive na official na yan po yung letter na resolution po ay kasi nababalitaan po namin na nakakapag uh, musical director pa rin siya sa mga shows sa mga concerts tapos yun ang sinasabi mo band ka na raw sa GMA7 is that correct uh, hindi po 
I'm man po sa entertainment uh, department po. Dahil po yung yung, mga, yung may kaibigan po siya dito sa entertainment department na hanggang ngayon po ay galit po sa akin. Kaya hindi po ako makapasok po sa entertainment department. Hindi, pero... But sa ano po, sa news, sa mga news departments po sa sa mga game shows ay nakakapag-guest po ako. Yeah, pero But... hindi, hindi ka ano totally banned doon sa network, di ba? Yes po, um, hindi ko po sinabi na totally banned po ako. Bale, ayun po, nilinaw ko din po naman yun sa, doon po sa nilabas ko pong uh, video. Hmm. So, what do you want to, oh, ba't ka pumunta rito sa Senate? Or... Uh, yun po, uh, your honors, uh, actually, ako po ay, ay hindi po naharas, hindi po na-abuse. I thought you were harassed. Ako po ay na-rape po. Na-rape? Na-rape po ako, Your Honor. Yung musical director? Yes po. Kasi there, there, are, there are a lot of definitions of rape. You know. How did you say it's rape? Handa po akong ikwento po dito yung nangyari. Pero ako po ay natatakot na baka po Ako po ay uh, balikan po ng mga taong ito. Kung, kung ano po, ihingi po ako ng tulong po sa inyo. Uh, Senator Jingoy and uh, Senator Robin, na ako po ay para magkaroon po ako ng, ng nakasan loob para po may pasabi po ito, itong story ko po. For 19 years, for 19 years po, ay kinip ko lamang po ito dahil Sa takot ko nga po sa kahihiyan. Hindi ko. Ihiyang nga po talaga ako. Lalo na po nung panahon na yun. Dahil nung, nung binulog ko nga po ito noon, yung mga nandun po sa loob ay parang dismiss lang po nila yung sinabi ko. na parang mag-move on ka na lang kasi uh, kalakaran yan dito nilalabal pa po nila ako na homophobic daw ako kaya, kaya ako nare-reklamo yung tao I was only 15 years old at that time, your honors so wala po talaga akong lakas ng loob nung mangyari parang yung Yung pang po sa akin, wala po akong lakas ng loob talaga. Contestant pa lang po ako noon. Contestant pa lang po ako noon and may, may power talaga po siya over us, over me. Kaya hindi ko po nasabi talaga agad. Even nung sinabi ko po sa parents ko yan, galit na galit po sila. Iyak na lang po kami ng iyak. Particularly yung lolo ko po. Kinamatay na nga po ng lolo ko yan dahil sa... sa samaan ng loob niya. Two years after, namatay po yung lolo ko kasi sa samaan ng loob na po dyan kasi hindi po, nga, hindi po ako nabigyan ng katanungan po. So, nangyari po sa akin. Okay, uh, DJ, what what are the legal uh, remedies that uh, Mr. Santos can avail? Considering the circumstances or statements he just gave. Kasi, Uh, is there a prescriptive period sa rape? Um, uh, sir, yes. Ilang taon? I think, sir, it's 20 years. But um, I'll, I'll check po because um, he is a minor when the crime was committed. So baka po uh, mas matagal po yung prescriptive period niya. But but mo, uh, for grave offenses po, it's 20 years na pwede pa siyang mag Are you contemplating? I'll check po the exact years. Oh, Mr. Po. Santos, are you contemplating of, of filing charges? Against yes po. Physical director? Yes po, Your Honor. Though, Kasi uh, ang, ang tagal ko na po talagang gusto po itong kaya lang natatakot po talaga ako and wala po akong means. Kaya Your Honor, ako po ay naminipload po ako sa inyo. Ano niyo po ako? Kasi ano ko na po nitong Tinago lang po sa ano ko po eh. Yung after, yung after po nung... No, that's why we are, 
yung after po nung nagreklamo kami sa GMA, nung natanggal po sa GMA, Kaya ano si gumapang ako, gumapang ako, may pangalang nabukang karir ko. Kami po ng manager ko, na dito po yung manager ko, si, si Kuya ko, okay. That's why we are here uh, investigating in aid of legislation. Kasi I've heard, being uh, members of showbiz, together with Senator Robin, this, ha this has been uh, prevalent since the 90s. That's why we're crafting, we're going to submit, a, maybe the committee of uh, Senator Robin is going to submit a committee re report with regard para matigil na itong uh, sexual harassment within the uh, uh, movie industry. Bro, This has bro. been uh, going on since uh, early 90s. Bro, nung, yun po nung mangyari. Hindi lang lalaki ha. Pati babae. Pati babae. Hindi lang lalaki. Yun po, sobrang gumapang po kami. And nagpasalamat na lang po talaga ako na yung mga interviews ko po actually nung sinasabi kong uh, marami pong beses na gusto ko sumuko na. Kasi dumating po talaga sa point na parang gusto ko na rin pong tapusin po yung buhay ko. Kasi pala rin po yung buhay mo ng family ko. So, hirap na hirap po talaga ako kung paano ko po itatagod okay. yung family ko na napigilan po yung mga opportunities po sa akin. Kumusta naman ang karir mo ngayon? Sa ngayon po, wala po akong... Umalis ka sa GMA7. Di ba lumipod ka sa TV5? TV5 po ako, pero... You were asking for a release from uh, GMA7, correct? Yes po. Oh. Yes po, Your Honor. You transferred to TV5? Yes po. Oh, what happened to your karir? Binigyan po nila ako ng opportunity na makapag-show. Uh, sa weekly show din po nila pero eventually ay uh, hindi naman po nag-prosper yung shows at na nawala din po ako wala rin nangyari yes po at uh, ayun po napapasok na po ako sa, sa teatro at uh, thankfully po ay dumating po yung pangalawang parang second grid po nung karil ko nung nabigyan po ako ng opportunity po sa sa Miss Saigon po nakapasok po ako sa Miss Saigon Dito na buhay, doon lang po talaga na buhay lang ulit yung, yung, yung confidence ko na, na halos na, nasira na po eh, parang pinrevent na po yung, ano ko, yung opportunities ko, yung mga kakataon ko po dito sa Pilipinas. And thankfully po, yung nabigyan po ng opportunity sa international stage. Very good. Anyway, you have your lawyer beside you, top-notch lawyer beside you, uh, Attorney Tomasio. Salamat nga po ako sa aking uh, bilang po si Attorney we, Tomasio. Uh, we will not uh, prevent you from filing rape, a rape case against your uh, accuser, against your uh, no, uh, yung yes, musical director. We will not prevent you. That is your prerogative. May you seek advice from your lawyer. Ah, uh, bali ano po kasi uh, si uh, si attorney po ay talagang uh, binigyan lamang po ako ng oras po ngayon at uh, si po ay legal counsel ko for now but after this po ay talagang ako po ay uh, uh, kailangan ko pong humanap po ng aking uh, uh, legal counsel for the case po. At uh, sana po ay uh, Sana po ay matulungan niyo po ako. Uh, Senator Jingoy, Senator Robin, ako po ay uh, nakikiusap po sa inyo. Dahil ako po ay natatangako po. Dahil kung na-prevent na po nila yung aking, yung aking pong progress ng karir po dito sa Pilipinas. Ngayon po ako na magsasalita po ako. Hindi ko po alam kung ano pong uh, kaya pa po nilang gawin. What do you mean na-prevent yung progress mo sa network? You were the one who asked for a release. Diba? Ikaw ang gustong magpatanggal sa GMA. And then, may sulat eh. May sulat ka eh. Uh, signed by your lawyer. Release lang po po nun. Correct. Uh, your Honor, sa GMA Artist Center. Yes. Oh. And then we wanted po na sa GMA Network itself. Kasi po, ay talagang, uh, actually, uno, kasi namin sinumbong yung aking reklamo sa GMA Artist Center. And po hmm. silang action na ginawa po sila po yung uh, nagsasabi nun na mag-move on na lang. Kaya po sabi namin, uh, ma-release po ako sa GMA Artist Center at uh, maging under na lang po ng network, baka mas maging better po yung aking uh, estado po sa network. I have a copy of the letter of your lawyer. 
Notice of Precision of GMA Artist Management Agreement. Oh. Ikaw ang gusto magparilis eh. Oh. Sa Artist Center po, uh, uh, sir. Oh, Di ba yun ang bubuhay, yun ang nag-build up sa mga artista, yung Artist Center? Po, pero may, may mga artists po na under GMA Network itself po. So nagpaparilis ka sa Artist Center? Opo, yun po sa Artist Management nila. Pero pwede pong under GMA Network ka po. At that time. Hindi, sinisi mo po. Unfortunately, GMA has failed to perform its obligation under the agreement as discussed in Mr. Santos's letter dated February 9, 2010. On the basis of the above, our client has decided to rescind the agreement. Oh. Accordingly, this letter constitutes formal notice of rescission of the agreement effective upon receipt hereof. Hmm. Basta ang pagkakaalam ko, ikaw ang gusto umalis sa GMA Artist Center, basta inaksyon na ng GMA nung yung reklamo mo, tinanggal yung musical director because of uh, uh, yung yung uh, charge mo na you were sexually harassed. Yes po, pero yun nga po sa GMA Artist Center lang po. And sinabi po namin sa letter na gusto po namin sa GMA Network mapa maging under po ako. What did they say? Wala po. Wala po silang sinabi. Basta ni-release na lang po nila ako. Anyway. Anyway, may uh, you have your lawyer there uh, beside you. You can uh, seek advice from your lawyer. If you want to file uh, rape cases, uh, a rape case against your the musical director, uh, that's your uh, call. That's your prerogative. Yes po, Your okay. Honor. Re Salamat continue. po. Thank you, uh, Mr. Santos. Salamat po. Where is uh, Mr. Mulak? Sandro Mulak. He's here, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Can the Comsec administer the oath? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. For Mr. Sandro Mulak. Stand yes, up. Uh, yeah, can please stand and raise your right hand. <laughs> right. Do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth in this committee hearing? Yes, Pope. Okay, thank you. You may sit down. Oh, Mr. Sandro. Yes, your yes, for your honor. Gusto mo ba narrate lahat yung ginawa sa iyo? Uh, Kasi po. nababasa lang namin sa Facebook. Yes po. Uh, hindi pa po ako ready to get into details po, your honor. Kasi hindi pa po na babasa nung kabilang kampo po yung reklamo po namin. Nahihirapan po ako, ikwento po yung buong details po. Okay, kilala mo yung dalawa? Si Jojo Nones and Richard Cruz? Uh, si, si Sir Jojo lang po yung kilala ko. Si Richard po, nakilala ko lang po that night. That night, yung Richard? Yes po. During? Uh, nung ano po, nung madaling araw po nung nangyari po lahat yun. Ano, ano? Nung madaling araw po, nung nangyari po lahat yun. Doon mo lang nakilala Richard? Yes po. Okay, tell tell this uh, committee, who who texted first? Si Jojo Nones po. What did he text you? Uh, uh, yung una po niyang text sa akin, nag-text po siya sa akin ng 3.59 a.m. 3.59 a.m.? Yes po. Mas 4 modeling araw? Yes po. Oh, what did he text you? Uh, I have the copy po on my phone. Pwede ko yeah, po. you read it. Okay po. Uh, oh, Mr. Jojo Nones, ikaw una nag-text? Hindi naman po namin dininay na kami po ang unang, ako po ang unang nag-text. Yes it's po. answerable by yes or no? Yes ha? po, your honor. All right. Oh, tuloy mo, Sandro. Um, Nag-message po siya sa akin ng 3.59am Sabi po niya sa akin So you kanina, didn't get to say hi Nakauwi ka na ba? Nag-reply po ako Sabi ko po Sir Jojo, sorry po uh, Di po kita nakita kanina Naka-check in po kami right now sa Marriott, sir Hope to see you soon po, Sir Jojo Tapos nag-reply po siya sa akin 
enjoy still partying. Sino kasama mo? Then nag-reply po ako. Sabi po niya, ay sabi ko po, kumakain lang po right now. Kasama ko po friends ko. Sila Miss Nate ah. and Eli Chalim po. Then sabi niya, be safe. Then sabi ko po, thank you po Sir Jojo. Hope to work and see you soon po. Sabi niya, nabitin ako sa inom. Napasabi rin po ako na ako nga din po eh. Then nagreply po siya sa akin na, Yes, soon. Ikas kita. Nagdidirek ako now. Wait, Stop. wait, wait, wait. Stop there. Do you have the power to cast, Mr. Nones? In GMA po, wala po, uh, Your Honor. Um, the casting Bakit mo tinatext si Sandro that, uh, ano, ito casting mo siya? In a general... And you do not have any power to do so. In a general sense po, I'm talking about um, as nagdidirek po ako, pinayagan na rin po ako ng GMA if uh, yes, I ask permission na But uh, mag, mag... do you have the power? Halimbawa, o Robin Padilla, kunin natin. May power ka bang ganun? Your Honor, pag outside po GMA, pag ako po ang magpo-produce... No, we're talking uh, about GMA. It's Sino a GMA po wala, power? Your Honor. At well, why I... did you text uh, Mr. Mulak? Uh, ang ang context ko po doon in a general po sense your honor as a director that can do projects outside GMA2 in streaming kasi ngayon po uso po na um pag uh, as directors or content creators we really do projects um ev everywhere po um we have streaming projects we have ganun po um people so on continue TV. Sandro Yes po your honor Continue okay po. continue Sabi niya, so after po nung yes soon, ikas kita, nagdidirect ako now. Sabi ko po, wow sir, looking forward to that po. Then sabi niya, oh, gusto mo pa ba? We have some alcohol here in the room. We can order some more. Then sabi ko po, saan po kayo sir? Sabi po niya, Belmont Hotel, katabi lang ng Marriott. Sabi ko po, sino-sino po kayo sir? Haha. Sabi po niya, just me. Tapos hindi na po ako nagreply kasi... Ang awkward naman po kung kami dalawa lang po sa kwarto. Kaya hindi po So ako... you were sensing something? Uh, hindi, hindi ko naman po siya pinag-iisipan ng, no, at that time. Yeah, nung just... nung nag-isa lang, nung sabi niya, I'm, uh, I'm alone. Opo. Nagduda ka. Nag, uh, ha? Yes po. Nag-isip, nagdalawang isip ka. So, hindi ko naman dahil po siya. Kaya hindi ka nag-text, tama? Yes po, hindi ko naman po siya, hindi naman po ako nag-iisip na masama ka sa kanya kasi boss ko po siya sa, ini, treat ko po sa kanya is boss. Okay, ng and then after which, afterwards, what happened to, ano pa yung mga succeeding text? Then, after 37 minutes po, 4.37am, nag-message po siya sa, nag-message po siya sa akin ulit. Sabi po niya, haha, just kidding, kasama ko drama peeps, but we're wrapping up in a bit. Nung sinabi po niya sa akin na drama peeps daw po yung kasama niya, uh, gusto ko lang po makasama yung buong drama team ng GMA. Siyempre, as an artista po, uh, need ko mag-PRPR po sa kanila, maki makisama po. Siyempre po, it's an opportunity for an artist like me to talk with them. Tapos, uh, nag-reply po ako ng, andyan pa ba, andyan pa ba kayo, sir? Baka po pwede dumaan saglit. Kasi sabi niya po kasi we're wrapping up in a bit. So sabi ko, ah, okay, saglit lang ako dun. Magpapakita lang po ako. Then I'll go na. Ayun po. Tapos after po nun, sabi ko, kakababa ko lang po sa room ng friends ko. Sure, may kasama ka? Sabi ko po, no po, ako lang. Tapos binigay po niya yung uh, Belmont room number. Sabi niya po, Ox, Belmont 7008. Ayun po. When you entered the room, who did you see? Uh, si sila pong dalawa. Oh, what were they doing? Uh, your Mr. Chair, I cannot get into details po kasi hindi pa po natatanggap nung kabila yung uh, huh? iklamo po namin. No, kasi... no, no. You tell us. So the... We ought to know. So nakita ko po silang nakita ko po silang dalawa si si Richard Cruz po lasing na lasing na bali ang nag-aasi kaso po sa akin is si Sir Jojo in offeran po ako ng wine Jojo Nones offered you to drink wine Yes po Richard Cruz what did he, what was he doing at the time uh, lasing po uh, nakaiga Lasing po. Yes po 
o nakahiga? Nakahiga po siya nung una ko pong nakita. Pero pinakilala po ako ni... Pinakilala po ako ni Jojo kay Richard. So tumayo po si Richard po. Tapos nakita okay. po sa akin. When, Pinak- when Jojo Nones offered you wine, you drank wine? Uh, opo. Huh? Uh, yes, What sir. else did he offer you? Um... I don't know po kung pwede ko po sabihin yung buong details kasi it's really sensitive. Eh, for... Sige na, sabihin mo na. Your Honor, with all due respect po, as mentioned po kanina kay Senator Padilla, um, hindi pa po natatanggap ng kabila yung... Oh, you want to have it in, a, in an executive session? Ay, hindi. Um... Dahil po hindi pa po natatanggap ng kabila yung complaint, uh, dapat po ma- mamarapatin po namin matanggap muna nila bago nila malaman yung pinaka, pinaka detalye. And also po, um, uh, medyo trigger pa po si Sando. Although, nilakasan niyo po talaga yung loob niya na magpakita ko today. Um, pwede po siguro, hindi po niya kaya talaga na dire-diretsyo na pag-usapan lahat ng detalye. Alam niyo, pag hindi natin tatapusin to, ahaba ng ahaba ito. You're wasting our time here eh. Magsasa- magsasalita ba kayo? Hindi. Kundi, alis na ako rito. Magsasalita ba kayo? Hindi. Gusto mo namin makatulong po sa... Yeah, yes, yes. Help this committee. Oh, you want to have an executive session or what? Executive session with just you, your honors, and not with the other parties. We will have our own time and not in front of them. Okay. Okay, your honor. Okay. So yeah, leave. Okay, uh, mga uh, pasensya na po. Meron po tayong motion para mag-executive session. Yung mga hindi po partido muna, Maiwan lang muna po sila uh, Mr. Nino Mulak, council nila. Pati po NBI, pwede muna po lumabas. Total, alam naman nyo na yan, pero pwede na rin po kayong lumabas. Opo, pwede na po. Pwede. Kami lang muna po. Muna. Pati po, uh, kami lang muna po. Opo, opo. Mamaya po, may sarili din po tayo. Opo. Okay lang po, kami lang muna po. Opo. Uh, meron lang po tayong reminder sa mga lawyer po ng ating complainant at uh, respondents. Uh, Just one question. Okay po. Uh, Sandro. Senator. Answerable by yes or no, Sandro. Ah. Was there drugs involved? Yes po. How did you know that it was drugs? Uh, actually, hindi po ako sure kung drugs yun. Uh, gusto, uh, it's, ano, I can describe it po if you want to. Because during the last hearing, ang sabi ko, based on my own uh, investigation, ito si Jojo Nones gave you a 500 bill in which he folded like a straw. Correct? Correct po, Your Honor. Huh? Correct po, Your Honor. Correct. Do you confirm, Jojo? Uh, no po, Your Honor. No. You don't confirm that you gave him a 500 peso bill? No po, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, Sandro, paano niya inabot sa'yo? Inabot lang po niya sa akin. Hindi ko po alam kung para sa ko yung 500. Okay. Nung inabot sa'yo yung 500 peso bill wrapped Hello. like a straw, Akala ko po pamasahe or pamparking. Akala mo pamparking, pampamasahe mo. Opo. Oh, what did he say? Uh, sabi ko po, hindi ko po alam yan. Hindi po ako marunong yan. Ayaw ko po. Okay. Anong ayaw mo? What do you mean ayaw mo? Ayaw mo yung 500 peso bill? Uh, ayaw, ay, may, may nilabas po kasi siyang substance. 
O, oh, base rin sa investigasyon ko, sinabi ko last hearing yan. Parang may powdery substance. Am I correct? Yes po, correct po. Uh, naglagay po siya ng substance on the table. Ha? Huh? White substance po. Naglagay po siya ng white, white substance. Sa table po. Pinor niya sa table. In white substance, correct? Correct po, Your Honor. Jojo Nones, you confirm? No po, Your Honor. Sino nga nagsisinungaling ka na yata eh? Ha? Basis sa investigasyon ko and corroborated by Mr. Sandro. Ha? Hindi po, Your Honor. Okay. What did what was the next step, Sandro? Uh, nagulat po ako na nagulat po ako na may binuhos po siya doon. Natakot po ako. Then sabi, then sabi po niya, akala mo ba we're boring creative heads? No. No, no, no. What did he let you do afterwards? Uh, tinuruan po niya ako kung paano po gamitin yung substance. With the 500 peso bill? Correct po, Your Honor. Okay. Can you demonstrate to us right now? If you have a bill there. Uh, Your Honor, uh, mahirap po balikan. Uh, natakot po ako sabihin lahat. Uh, no, no, no. Tukol sa drugs lang, Sandro. I'm interested eh. What, did, what was the next step? Or what, what, what did he tell you to do? Uh, uh, ano, ano po, uh, tinuruan po niya ako paano po gamitin Uh, sabi po niya sa akin, ilabas ko daw po lahat ng hangin ko on the other side. Nabas ko po lahat. Tapos doon po sa substance, sisingutin po lahat gamit po yung 500 peso bill. Yun po yun. Masyado siyang in inutusan ka niya ni Jojo para uh, suminghot. Ganun ba? Suminghot ba tawag doon? Yes, Di mahitit siya ni. Eh. Ilan beses ka sinabihan ng... Uh, swimming hot? Uh, mga three times po, Your Honor. Three times? Three times? Yes. Oh, po, si Jojo Honor. Nones ang nagpupumilit sa'yo? Yes po, Your Honor. Si Richard Cruz? Uh, no, Richard Dode. Uh, sorry. Dead, dead, Dode. Uh, uh, anong sinabi? Well... Ano ginagawa ni Richard Dode? Uh, after po ni after po ni Jojo, si Richard po yung sumunod na nag-take po. Nag nag-take. Uh, opo. Yung uh, sumihot. Yes po, Your Honor. Oh. Richard Dode. True. Hindi po totoo. Sorry, Your Honor. Talaga lang ha. Ang anak, kabata-bata to, tinuturuan yung humitit ng ano. Ha? Huh? I already, I also conducted my own investigation. And the same. Kung ano sinasabi ni Sandro Mulak, the same. Kung ano lumabas sa investigation ko. And now you're denying it? Ha? Huh? Yes po, your honor. Oh. Mr. Nones. Inoferan mo si Ninyo Mulak, the father ng financial uh, contribution sa charitable institution of his choice. Hindi po, Your Honor, na ang, ang context ay for settlement. For settlement? Uh, wala, wala pong ganung ano po, wala pong ano ganung context, context Your Honor. Ano context uh, nung na nandun po kami kay um, nag-meeting po kami um uh, sa ano po sa tulong po ni Miss Annette Goson um na, na pagkwentuhan lang po kung saan po siya No, naging... did you offer Mr. Mulak, the father financial contribution in any chari charitable institution of his own choice? Did you? Yes or no? Your Honor, it wasn't po an offer. Did you? Yes or no? Your Honor, because it was in, in the context po of the yes conversation. Yes or no? Did you offer? Your Your Honor, kasi I did not offer. Yes or no eh. Your, your Honor, material po kasi yung context, Your Honor. 
Did you offer yes or no? It wasn't po in in the context of settlement, Your Honor. No, Alam na kayo, we allow them to finish no, the statement. No, you don't talk. You just give advice to you, your client. Did you offer yes or no? Not po in the context of settlement, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, I move and, to cite this person in contempt. And and even Miss Annette Gosson po clarified that po in a public post, and she said po that we did not offer any settlement, nor did she broker any settlement po, Your I'm Honor. I'm just asking you a sim very simple question, answerable by yes or no. The the answer po is no, Your Honor, because it wasn't not an offer. It wasn't po an offer. You did not offer. Huh? It wasn't you did not offer. An, it wasn't po an offer, mm. Your Honor. Oh, ano klase yun? Na, na, na pag usapan po siya, nadaanan po siya sa usapan, and then nagaling po siya sa charity event. So, na, napunta po doon yung conversation, Your Honor. <laughs> Sinungaling talaga ito. Scriptwriter ka nga. Hmm. Sandro? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Tuloy-tuloy yung pag mo ng wine. Opo. Hanggat malasing ka. Nanghina yes. ka ba? Yes po, Your Honor. Nung uh, pinapasing hot ka nitong dalawa, ano nararamdaman mo? Were you high? Nanghina ka ba? Namanid po ako, Your Honor. Ha? Minanid po ako, Your Honor. Ano to? Namanhead? Yes, Namanhead? Namanhead. Namanhead? Yes po, Your right. Honor. So you lie down in the bed. Am I correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. Huh? Yes po, Your Honor. Uh, and then, when you lie down sa bed, doon nag-umpisa yung sexual harassment? Uh, hindi po ako nag-lie down. Hinila you, po ako sa bed. Hinila ka sa bed? Yes po, Your Honor. Hi, sino nang hila sa'yo sa bed? Jojo Nones po, Your Honor. Jojo Nones. So, nung hinila ka sa bed, ano, napahiga ka ba? Napaupo ka ba? O ano? Napahiga po ako. Napahiga? Yes po. All right. And then, that started everything? Yes po, Your Honor. Uh, I don't wanna go into details po, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm just asking. I'm just asking you. That started everything, no? Humiga ka? Yes po, Your Honor. All right. So... You were sexually harassed. Correct? Uh, yes, po, Your Honor. Hmm. You deny? Yes, po, Your Honor. We deny allegations, po. Ano ginawa niyo doon sa bata? Wala po kaming ginawang masama kay Sandro, Your Honor. Ano nga ginawa niyo? Noon nandun siya. Wala po, Your Honor. Nag really? Nagkwentuhan. We really? We music. We socialized, Your Honor. Yes, ah. Your Honor. Ano pinagkwentuhan ninyo? Sige, interesado ko. Ano, ano pinagkwentuhan ninyo? Um, marami po. Like, ang simula po, huh? ang, na, ang mga napag-usapan po namin sa simula, yung sa gala, uh, oh. nadapa po si Hipon, tapos, and then yung mga after parties, mga ganun po. Hmm. Napagkwentuhan po namin yung gala, yung mga events na nangyari during the gala, Tapos, and then, um, yan, we were drinking, socializing, oh, Sandro, listening to some music. Sandro, dali lang. And, nakapagkwentuhan daw sila sa'yo? Uh, nakapagkwentuhan po nung una. Pinakilala po ako kay Richard Dode. Pinakilala po ako na si Sandro to. Magaling na artista to. Kinuha ko na to dati sa Agimat ng Agila. Magaling hmm. na bata na kontrabida to. Sandro, anak ni Nino. Ito po yung sabi. Yun po yung sabi niya. Yun lang po yung napag-usapan. Eh, yung kinikwento ng... Yung kinikwento ni Mr. Nones ngayon, yung mga pinagkwentuhan ninyo? Hindi po totoo, Your Honor. Hmm. Mr. Nones? Uh, these are allegations po, Your Honor, kasi we were just um socializing po in in fact po during the entire time nakakapag text freely po si Sandro um he, he was texting freely so wala wala pong rest, wala pong anything that uh, that connects to his allegations your honor we, we, can you repeat it again we deny po the allegations kasi po uh, ibig sabihin pinatawag mo yung bata 
hindi, para makapagkwentuhan lang. Hindi, hindi ko po siya pinatawag, Your Honor. Ito ka ng fix eh. Yeah, uh, umakit po siya on his own volition at sinabi niya po na dadaan lang po siya. On his own volition because you texted him. God damn it, you. He, Your Honor, with all due respect po, he said po, um, akit po siya, sa, dadaan po siya sa glit. Yun, because yun. you texted him. You were the first one who texted him. Diba? He, he did not deny it. Yes, Your Honor. Like, you were, no direct you were luring him. Sandro to go to your room. There was no luring involved, Your Honor. There was no direct inv invitation from me. Eh, ano, ano klaseng tawag yun? It, you were inviting him. It was just a conversation. Every text, Your Honor, is, is in response. Ang hirap kayo, ang dami mo nang dinilit na messages. Hindi lang naman si Sandro ang tinetext mo eh. Ang dami mo pang mga artista ang tinetext eh. Baka makachamba ka eh. Oh no, you tell me the truth. We're here to ferret out the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay? Because if you will continue to lie here before this committee, I have no other choice. I have no other alternative but to cite you in contempt. I'm not lying for your honor. Um, Did you harass him? No, for your honor. Harassed? No, for your honor. Really? Huh? Really? You don't talk. You give, give advice. Your Honor, um, these are the very same issues being investigated by the DOJ right now. So, um, if I keep further answering uh, questions regarding the details, this could incriminate us and can could affect our case and defense, Your Honor. Um, these no, no, are just asking you practical questions here. It's, it's just answerable by yes or no. Yeah. Why did you delete your messages? Kung wala ka talaga tinatago. Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Na-mention ko na po yun sa previous hearing at the right. executive session, Your Honor. We, we, this, this, further um uh, answering details regarding the case your honor will will violate our right to self incrimination your honor and and um we would like to um invoke our right and answer those allegations we can even provide you with our counter affidavit your honor once we receive the complaint from, from the GO, doj but we would like to be given the chance to answer them at a proper forum and know the allegations as well, Your Honor. Totoo ba? Based on my investigation, sinabi sa'yo, Sandro, ni Jojo Nones, what stays here, what happened here stays here. Correct po. Ano nangyari sa kwarto? Tama po. Para natili sa kwarto lang. Yes po. Sino nagsabi nun? Si Jojo Nones po, Your Honor. Okay. Si Jojo Nones ang ang mas agresibo. <laughs> Pardon my word. Pardon my term. Parehas po sila, Your Honor. Parehas silang ano? Yes po, Your Honor. So kasi dito sa investigation ko, dito sa investigation ko, no, binasa ko rin nung nakaraan. There was really sexual a uh, sexual assault. Tinanggal mo yung t-shirt ni Sandro, di ba? Mr. Nones. No po, Your Honor. Hindi Tinanggal mo yung t-shirt? No po, Your Honor. Hindi po. Ha? No po, Your Honor. Hindi po. Tinanggal ba t-shirt mo, Sandro? Si, si Richard po yung nagtanggal. Polo po yung tinanggal. Hindi po t-shirt, Your Honor. Pero, oh, Your Richard. Honor... Ah, uh, your honor hindi po totoo 'yun. <laughs> Tangnan <Tangan tumo. laughs> Puta, hindi na kayo naawa sa bata. Tayo na. Ha? Huh? Tapos lahat ng kababuyan ginawa niyo sa bata, puta.
Your Honor, with all due respect, please don't judge us. Hindi pa po kami convicted sa case. The case no, but you're that lying. Filed po. We are not lying. No, judge, Your Honor, you're we're, lying. Just, we're all, also just defending our our side, Your Honor. I, it is our constitutional right to defend our right, Your Honor. So we are not being disrespectful at all. We're not lying. We're just... Okay. What was the action that GMA 7... What was the action of JMA 7 with regard to the complaint of Sandro? We were sent a notice to explain and a supplemental notice to explain and then we were put on preventive suspension, Your Honor. You're suspended? Yes, Your Both Honor. Both of you? Yes, Your Honor. Huh? Yes po, Your Honor. Wala po kaming kinikita as of now. Eh, dapat nga. Hindi lang suspension ng inabot ninyo. Dapat expulsion. Well, may... Indeed. These allegations are true. Hindi naman sa... I'm not preempting everything, no? Pero, base sa... sa usap-usapan, usap, base rin sa investigation ko. May drugs involved. Okay? Ang tanong, saan mo kinuha drugs? Ha? Sa inyo kinuha drugs na pinasinghot niyo ro sa bata. Na wala namang kaalam-alam yung bata. First time niya ginawa na dahil uh, because you lured him to take these drugs. Tama. Kapat, ilang taon nito? 23? 20 Ilang taon ka na ba, Sandro? 23 po, Your Honor. Oh. Ngayon lang siya umaayaw na nga. Piniilit niyo pa. Umaayaw na nga suminghot. Pinipilit mo pa. Your Honor, may ay pa. Um, with all due respect po, Your Honor, um, kung yung mga ano nyo po, uh, galing lang po kay Sandro as allegations, Your Honor, they are just allegations. Excuse me. Your Honor. Hindi galing kay Sandro. Investigation ko. Okay hindi po. Hindi ko po kilala yan eh. Ang tatay kilala ko. At hindi, I never interviewed this father. I got this from a different source. During the first hearing, Oh. Huwag mo turuan dito. O oh, ano? Mr. Nones, you still deny the allegations? Ha? Huh? Yes po, Your Honor. Kasi kaming tatlo lang naman po ang nandun sa room. So, wala pong ibang source ng information, Your yes. Honor. Kasi yung ibang uh, investigation ko dito, hindi na for public consumption eh. Kasi uh, hindi na maganda pakinggan eh. I will not go in. Masyado kasing malaswa itong uh, ginawa ko investigation. Masyado malaswa. And you still deny na wala kayong ginawang masama dito sa bata. Nakipagkwentuhan lang. Yes, uh, Nino? Yes, um, Your Honor. I just like to, uh, no, because the last hearing, yung second hearing po, uh, we were all under oath. And they said that they never offered an, any donation. Um, <coughs> they never offered me any donation of uh, to a... Uh, a charitable institution of my choice. But attorney Annette Gozon has uh, proven that uh, they did through an affidavit. Where, where is the affidavit? Do you have a copy? Oh, ito pala, nagsisinungaling na kayo. Yan. May affidavit na si attorney Annette. With due respect, Your Honor, may we be allowed to read the affidavit, Your Honor? It's a right of my client to be confronted with all the evidence of the witnesses against them, Your Honor. Oh, sige. Paige, can you can we uh, 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 
have the affidavit of uh, attorney Annette? Your Honor, the affidavit is being reproduced right now, Your Honor. I'll give them a copy. Uh, suspend lang muna po natin yung session. Pwede muna po kayong kumain. Andiyan po, suspend lang muna po habang inaantay natin.
Meron na kayong copy ng affidavit? Yes, Your Honor. We're currently reading it, Your Honor. Ready to resume, Mr. Chair? Great. Okay. Uh, Sana to? Sana to, Jingoy? Uh, Mr. Nones, I assume that you have already read the affidavit that was uh, duly signed by uh, Attorney Annette, the Vice President of uh, JMU 7. Yes, Your Honor, please. Uh, my client will answer the question. No, but... let your client answer, not you. We submit to that, Your Honor. But uh, I would just like to... Uh, you, the legal counsel is here only to give legal advice to your client. We submit to that, Your Honor. My client will answer it. Assessment no, on the affidavit, Your Honor. No, no. I was asking you a while ago if you offered Mr. Nino Mulak financial contribution to any charitable institution of his own choice and then you denied it. Now, here comes the affidavit signed by Attorney Annette, who I think uh, this person this uh, this person is very credible. Here comes the affidavit signed by Attorney Annette saying that you indeed offered financial contribution to any charitable institution of his choice. What can you say? Uh, Your Honor, upon review po of the affidavit po of Ms. Annette Gosson, uh, nowhere in the affidavit does she mention po that there was an offer of settlement, Your Honor. And in fact, she mentioned only the donation to the charitable institution after she she put, after the paragraph where she put that, um, uh, uh, she said that Mr. Nino Mulak uh, came from a previous scheduled charity event. Correct. Uh, Four and five, Your Honor. So it it supports our statement earlier, Your Honor, that um that it was part of. Number five. Number five. Do we read that? Mr. Jojo Nones, I'll just read it for you. Uh -huh. That Mr. Jojo Nones mentioned in that meeting that if Mr. Nino Mulak would want, they can donate to a charitable institution of Mr. Nino Mulak's choice. Number six. That Mr. Nino Mulak denied, uh, declined. Number seven, that Mr. Nino Mulak stated that he wants to pursue the HR case against Jojo Nones and Richard Cruz. Oh. Maliwanag na maliwanag. Dito sa affidavit. Na nagsisunong alin ka? Hindi po, Your Honor. Kasi context po is material po, Your Honor. Nagsisunong alin. I was asking you. Did you offer any financial contribution to any charitable institution? No offer po of settlement, Your Honor. Um, I did not ask if it's a settlement or not. The only question I'm asking you is that if you offered financial contribution, I did not say it's a settlement. You're putting words into my mouth. Mr. Chair, I move that he be cited in contempt. Uh, Mr. Jojo Nunes, naiintindahan niyo po ba yung uh, motion na kayo po ay uh, patawan ng contempt? Opo, Your Honor. Pero with all due respect po, Your Honor, nag-explain nag nah, nah, po. Nah, nah, ako, eh. Alam mo, ito, jo, ako, alam mo, hindi kita kilala. Ha? Kahit matagal na ako sa showbiz, hindi kita kilala. Pero huwag naman ganun. Ha? We are here trying to know the truth, to ferret out the truth. Eh, pag patuloy ka nagsisunungaling dito sa amin, talagang pa, isaside ka namin yung contempt. Maliwanag na maliwanag na dito sa affidavit. Maliwanag na maliwanag na sinabi ni ni Sandro. May drugs pa involved. 
may sexual harassment na involved. Hindi lang nga sexual harassment eh. Assault eh. Dahil pinag, pinagsamantalahan nyo yung bata, pinag-take nyo ng drugs, tsaka nyo pinagsamantalahan. That, that is a, what do you call this, drug-induced uh, sexual assault? Tama ba yung sinabi ko, attorney? NBI, NBI. Kawawa naman yung bata. But, eh, pinag-drugs yun ha, hinalay nyo pa. Uh, NBI? Sir, good, good. Uh, Your Honor, good afternoon po. Um, there was an allegation po na pinag-sniff po siya ng drugs before the alleged na pang-aabuso po. Hmm. See? See, continue deny. You continue denying it. Oh. Mr. Jojo, uh, uh, are you... Sergeant the time to... Mr. Chair. Sasagot po ba kayo? O... Iyan pa rin po ba ang sagot po ninyo? Yes po, Your Honor. Sumasagot po kami. These are allegations po. Opo. Mismo po si Attorney Conales po sinabi niya po. Allegations, allegations lang po. Allegations lang. We deny po the allegations, Your Honor. Po, there is a motion to cite Mr. Jojo Nones in contempt. Without any objection, the motion is approved. So ordered. Meron pong motion para... Patawan si Jojo Nones ng contempt po. Dahil wala pong nag-o-object, pinagagal po ito at pinag-uutos. Sergeant at arms? Hindi pwede. You bring him to the, you bring him to the, the, the detention cell. Attorney Tupasio, you're not only lawyering for Mr. Gerard Santos, am I correct? You're also here as an independent resource person. Ah, uh, yes, Your Honor. You're handling cases relative to these issues. Ah, uh, yes, Your Honor. Correct. Yes, so, Your Honor. All right. Uh, kanina sinabi ko hindi lang lalaki mino mulesya, pati mga babae. Opo. All right. Yeah, I heard before uh, during the lull you were uh, uh, saying that you're you're handling two cases, I both just... female. Opo. Ah, uh, tapos na po uh, yung mga kaso. All right. So what do you want to impart uh, before this committee? Ang uh, nais ko pong impart is that uh, in both cases po, uh, this representation has perceived a pattern of cover-up. Uh, doon po kapag may nagre-reklamo against sexual harassment uh, on the part of GMA7. I, I hasten to add, uh, Your Honor, that I know personally attorney Annette Gosson and her yeah. father. They are God-fearing yes. and uh, decent. Before that, before that yes, uh, yeah. if I may interrupt. Uh, yes, Your Honor, I'm um, sorry. Uh, hindi naman uh, sa kinakampihan ko yung GMA7. I do not have any. Well, wala naman akong ano dyan. Pero lahat ng mga sexual harassment cases, basta nag-complain, I think ginagawa nila na action. May action ka agad. Ang like what happened to, to Sandro Mulak. Kinomplain niya yung dalawa. Ngayon, under preventive suspension sila. Inaksyonan. Yung kay Gerard, after five years, <laughs> kahit after five years, inaksyonan pa rin ng GMA7. Tinanggal pa rin yung kanyang, yung nang, nang halay sa kanya, yung musical director. No? With all due respect, in, in fairness naman sa GMA7, inaksyonan naman nila yung mga kasong ganun. Uh, in these cases po, ay hindi po ganun ang aksyon. Maybe nag... Balit na po recently o after these cases ng policy and I uh, applaud GMA7 for that. Pero yung pong kasong hinandal ko po noong 2009 at 2011, hindi po ganun ang nangyari. Uh, yung una po, yung ikinomplain po na empleyado ng GMA7 na si Mr. Dan Christian Villanueva was retained even after the incident. Yun pong isa naman, yung kinomplain po si Mr. Baron Geisler, nag-continue pa rin po doon sa teleserye uh, kung saan po nangyari yung uh, assault. Pero there was no staff of GM GMA7 involved. Yung kay, kung artista lang to. Hindi po. Uh, yung kay Dan Christian Villanueva po, he was a DJ of DWLS-FM 97.1 which is up to now owned by GMA7 po. Mm -hmm. He was also sexually harassed? He was the one accused, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Um, yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, what else do you want to impart before this uh, committee? Ah, yun nga po. Ang nangyari po kasi dito sa in both cases and uh, sabi ko nga po, ako nag-iba ng policy ng GMA7, maigi naman at na mabilis pong action at uh, natutuwa naman po ako for uh, Mr. Nino Mulak na kahit ko po. Pero eh, ito pong nangyari po sa akin, eh, ang nangyari po, ako pa po yung abogado noong nagreklamo, ako pa po yung napasama na demanda po po ako. Ah, ah, uh, 'yun po ang ginagawa po nila eh. Binabaliktad po nila in the name of uh, uh, trying to avoid negative publicity and keeping the corporate image clean. Ay, uh, ay sila po ay pinepressure nila yung artista na i, i uh, abandon na yung complaint o binabaliktad nila, pinipilit nila magkasundo yung dalawa. Ayun nga po, ikinomplain ko po ito, uh, Your Honor, publicly sa Jario. In the case of the first one, pwede ko po bang banggitin yung kliyente ko? Ah, si... Um, well, it's a, uh, it's your call. Eh, opo, si, na tapos na naman po yung kaso, si Ms. Yasmin Curdy. Lagi sa alanganin. Opo, si, uh, public knowledge naman po ito, uh, Your Honor, na inireklamo ko po si Mr. Lars Santiago ng GMA7 sabagkat kinorner po niya noon, uh, that was 20, uh, 2009, at Pinasabi kay Ms. Yasmin Curdy na hindi, daw, hindi na daw niya itutuloy. Pero hindi naman po yung intensyon ng aking kliyente sabagkat, in fact, hanggang 2011 po ay tumatakbo yung kaso. Ang nangyari po roon ay nag-quit na po sandali ng showbiz si Ms. Yasmin Curdy e eh, nag-aaral na lang po ng nursing sa New Era. At uh, in-encourage naman po namin ni Ms. Lolit Solis ay uh, yung action na yun sabagkat na-stress na po yung bata at the time. Ito naman po kay Ms. Bea Binene eh, nireklamo po namin sa minor po siya at that time, 15 years old. Nireklamo po namin, sinamahan ko sa pulis. Nandyan po buhay na saksi si Ms. Uh, uh, Colonel Emma Libunaw, na noon po ay hepe ng Women and Children's Protection Office. Nakasama po sila mag-ina na nagreklamo. Pumirma po sila sa blatter. Nag-execute po sila ng affidavit. Nireklamo po nila na pagka inaresto yung uh, uh, respondent, yung inireklamo, kunin yung cellphone at saka yung computer dahil may mga compromising pictures daw of a sensitive nature at doon sa mga computer. Ang nangyari po, nung pumutok po sa media, binaliktad po nila, sinabi nila, ako daw ang may pakana ng complaint. Wala daw akong authority. Pa, paano po nangyaring walang authority? Ikasama ko po twice. Not once, but twice. To quote Susan Roses po, doon sa uh, akrame, yung complainant at sila pong mag-inaan ng complaint. So, uh, uh, kaya nga po, uh, minarapat ko po, uh, Your Honor, and we also with the kind indulgence of the chairman, na nag-draft po ako ng isang uh, panukalang batas para makatulong po kahit sa aking payak na paraan dito sa komite uh, para ma-amend po yung anti-sexual harassment uh, law. At ito nga po, kung inyo pong pahihintulutan, uh, Your Honor, um, uh, Mr. Chair, ito po ang aking panukalang idagdag para matanggal na po itong mga cover-up kasi yung pong case po ni Mr. Gerald Santos. Kailan ko po ito nakilala lamang nung ginagawa ko po yung pelikulang Mama sa Pano kasi medyo nag-showbiz na po tayo. Nag-produce na lang po tayo kasi hindi po tayo pwedeng artista katulad ng Your Honor. Eh, uh, ano po eh, doong ko lang po nalaman nga ito, natatakot po talaga sila sapagkat hawak po nung kanilang nire-reklamo yung power of life and death, so to speak, over their career. Swerte nga po si Mr. Sandro uh, Mulak, eh, he belongs to showbiz royalty. Uh, ang kan po ni Cheng Mulak yan, nandyan si Nino, nandyan si Aga. Eh, paano po katulad ni Mr. Gerald Santos noon, 15 years old, walang kilala sa showbiz, nangangarap na, na maatim yung stardom pagkatapos eh, uh, natatakot po siya. Ito po ang aking panukala with your kind indulgence, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Mr. Chair, na sana po ay pagkatapos po nitong mga hearings na ito ay mailagay sa Anti-Sexual Harassment Act bilang susun po. And I quote, Any employee, manager, supervisor, agent of the employer, teacher, instructor, professor, coach, trainer, or any other person who having authority, influence, or moral ascendancy over the complainant, yung complainant po ng sexual harassment, and who not being directly or indirectly involved in acts of sexual harassment as defined in Section 3 hereof, and who by himself or in concert with others conceals or destroys the body of the crime or the effects and instruments thereof in order to prevent its discovery or... Yes, Your Honor. Siguro pwede mo lang submit. Ayaw po, opo. Sir, 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 s
Ang nangyari po sa amin ng GMA7, nagdemandahan pa po kami, dinemanda ko pa po yung uh, Vice President nila at that time, si Simon Ferrer. Kasi po, ang nangyari, nag-complain na nga po ng uh, sexual harassment, nag-press con po agad sila. Ako nga, uh, at dinurong may pakala nang nagka-create daw ako ng bad publicity. All of this, wala po yung problema sa akin yun, sanay po ko. Uh, makapal po mukha ko, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair. At uh, tagal na po akong abogado. Ngunit, yun pong atmosphere na cover up nagde-deter po, napipigilan yung mga gustong magreklamo. So, dapat ito pong atmosphere na ito matanggal para once and for all matanggal na po itong sexual harassment sa ating industriya, Your Honor. Yes, and sabi ko nga kanina, this has been prevalent ever since. No? This has been ongoing since the 90s, siguro since the 80s. Nangyari na ito eh. That's why we have to put it into a stop eh. Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, I totally agree, na. Your Honor. Kasi uh, siguro... May kakulangan sa ngipin sa batas natin sa sexual assault, sa sexual harassment. Siguro kailan dagdagan pa ng uh, mas uh, mahabang, mas ma mabigat na parusa. No? Yes, Your Honor. I totally That's agree. what we are uh, trying to do. Uh, we are inviting resource persons like you, independent resource persons. Inimbita rin ni Senator Robin si Attorney Lorna Kapunan. From there, we can start to craft a law that will uh, add teeth to this... Uh, to this law na hindi na maulit itong mga ganito klaseng karasan na nangyayari sa mga or, uh, sa mga rising sa mga aspiring aspiring teenagers na gustong sumikat uh, gusto magkapangalan sa sa show business uh, lalong lalo na yung mga walang pedigree yan yung sinasabi mo kanina may pedigree si Ninyo Mulak yes your honor Oh, may pedigree rin kami dahil sa tatay ko. <laughs> yeah, of, definitely, Your Honor. Actually, si Robin Padilla, walang pe Andi, may, may mm. pedigree rin. Dahil oh, sila, Rudy Fernandez, sila ano. No, paano naman yung mga walang pedigree? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. And Your Honor, please, uh, I am volunteering my services free to the committee, even after these hearings, to help in the crafting of this law. Okay. Sapagkat na, nandito na rin po ako, nag-produce na rin po ako ng movie, may talent agency na rin po ako, nag-invest na rin po ako sa industriya. Let us uh, yeah. keep the industry clean na mawala yes, na po yes. itong dungis na ito. Thank you very much. Maraming we salamat po, totally Sir Chair and Your Honor. Zero. With the permission of the Chair, we can uh, ask the ComSec to coordinate with the Attorney Ferdinand Tupasio with regard to crafting uh, uh, crafting law regarding sexual harassment. Yeah. Yes, yes Senator. Attorney. Uh, Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, while we cannot comment on the cases mentioned by Attorney Topasio because we do not know the factual matters related to that, we would just like to categorically deny that we have a policy on cover-up because as already mentioned in the hearings... You're from James Evan? Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. I'm Attorney Angelo Jocno. So we would just like to categorically deny the impression that Attorney Topasio is giving to the public that GMA has a policy on cover-up on sexual harassment. Okay, GMA is quick to act on these matters. In fact, the case of Gerard Santos, even if the incident happened five years before he filed the complaint, GMA still acted on it. So we take matters seriously, your Mr. Chair. Yes, that that is what I mentioned. The Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and we note that we note that okay. we appreciate that, Mr. Chair. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. All right, itong si Jojo Nones, palalabasin lang namin yung pagbagsasabi ng tutoyan during the next hearing, if there is still a next hearing. He is continuously lying before this committee. Booking na, may affidavit na, nagsalita na sa investigasyon ko, nagsalita na yung bata. Hanggang ngayon, matigas pa rin, ng, matigas pa rin kayo. Your Honor, please, if I may be allowed to speak, Your Honor. No. Uh, as regards whether no. or not... Talk to your client. We submit to that, Your Honor. At any rate, uh, I will just... Uh... Do whatever is uh, in accordance with the legal system, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Chair, I move that we suspend the proceedings. Thank you for attending. Uh, Your Honor, if you may be given time to share a statement prepared, po, is it okay? Mm -hmm. Mr. Chair, I think uh -huh. Mr. Sandro Mulak wishes to make it. Yes, Sandro, anak, Leon. Um, Your Honor, if I may be given time to share a statement prepared, po, sana. How many minutes is that, Sandro? Uh, no, it's just one of them. As in, fast. Ah, see, see, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, thank you po so much. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you po to this honorable committee for bringing up the issues surrounding sexual abuse. Uh, hindi lang po sa showbiz, pero sa lahat po sa lahat po ng workspaces. 
uh, pasensya na rin po kung hindi pa ako nakapag-attend sa previous Senate hearings. Pero more than that, advice sa akin ng mga doctors ko sa NBI na hindi pa po talaga ako handa mapag-usapan yung buong nangyari sa akin. Uh, nakakatakot po kasi at nakakahiya po. Ang um, hirap po kasi para sa akin makita silang dalawa ulit live. Uh, maraming salamat po sa pag-intindi. And uh, ayoko rin po kasi ito mangyari sa iba. Kaya po sabi ko sa kapatid ko na sana huwag mangyari sa kanina nangyari sa akin kasi napakahirap po. Hirap na hirap po ang makatulog. Hindi po ako makakain. Araw-araw po akong hina-anxiety. Tsaka hanggang ngayon po, diring-diri pa rin po ako sa sarili ko. Uh, I try my best tulog ko okay para hindi masyado mag-alala yung pamilya ko. Pero yung mommy ko na nasa states, araw-araw na umiiyak. Kasi sinisisi niya yung sarili niya na malayo siya sa akin at hindi niya po ako maprotektahan. Uh, yun po yung everyday ko na iniisip para maging okay po ako. Pero yung totoo po, hindi po talaga ako okay. Naniniwala po ako na there's a need to protect all victims of sexual abuse. Uh, bilang isang biktima, nais ko po ibahagi yung pinapaniwalaan kung pwede consider po ng honorable committees. Uh, una po, yung laws na related sa sexual abuse should all be gender neutral, mapababae man, mapalalaki man. Uh, dapat po, non-traditional yung sexual acts. Hindi naman po namimili ng kasarian ang sexual abuse. And marami naman pong paraan na baka hindi mali... Marami pong paraan ng pangubuso na baka hindi po malinaw sa ating mga batas uh, na ginagawa lang po ng babae at lalaki. And sana po magkaroon ng batas para protektahan yung mga biktima. Nakakatakot po kasi talaga. Like sabi po ni Kuya Gerald Santos, it's really hard to speak up. Kahit po sa papa ko, Nahirapan po ang magsabi. Umiiyak po ako sa harap niya kasi napakahirap pong tanggapin na pinaboy ka. Hinaras ka lahat po ng bagay na yun para ka pong pinapakapakan. Sobrang nakakababa po. Nakakatakot po talaga magsumbong. Ako nga po, inabot ako ng sampung araw bago po ako magsabi sa mag-report kasi ayoko po, actually ayoko po talaga kumalat to kasi nanatakot po akong maapektuhan yung career ko sa GMA kasi tatlong years, three years ko po inalagaan yung pangalan ko sa GMA. Lahat po pinakasamahan ko po ng maayos, lahat po ng mga boss ko, even yung manager ko po, alam po nila yan. And sana po magkaroon ng support services na ready na makapagsumbong po agad yung mga biktima na katulad ko po kasi hindi naman po lahat may kakayahan na magsumbong freely kasi po pwede naman pwede po sila balikan ng ng mga ng mga perpetrators na gumawa ng case na case po na yun uh, yun po maraming salamat po your honor maraming salamat uh, Sandro kung meron pong ano bago po tayo magsuspend baka may gusto pong sabihin si uh, Sir Ninyo Mulak um, Your Honor, I'd just like to thank everyone who attended the hearing today and um, for taking time out to attend to this hearing and uh, sa support po ng lahat po ng uh, mga kaibigan at nagmamahal kay Sandro, maraming maraming salamat po. Um, Nag-file na po namin yung case and hopefully um, mapadali ang uh, pag- uh, pagdating ng justice para kay Sandro. Hindi po. Okay. Uh, NBI, baka meron po kayong gustong sabihin? O... Ako, meron gustong sabihin <laughs> sa NBI. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyong magandang pagsasagawa ng imbi- investigasyon. Baka meron po kayong gustong sabihin? Magandang hapon po, Your Honor. Um, we would like to thank you for considering the mental well-being of Sandro at naiintindihan niyo po yung kalagayan niya ngayon. Um, as we can see, uh, he is already stressed and um, 
undergoing anxiety and um salamat po sa pagintindi and uh, rest assured that NBI will do our job. Salamat po. Mr. Chair. Uh, apo, sandali lang po. Alam niyo po, Ma'am uh, Rubilin Lumampao, uh, isa po tayo sa ako ay naniniwala na matindi ang epekto nito. Iba to eh. Kasi iba to. Um, uh, parang siguro bukod sa professional help, siguro spiritual help din siguro kailangan. Oo. Uh, So, maraming salamat po sa very professional ang uh, NBI. At ito nito, Pasho, may gusto po kayong sabihin? Opo, uh, don't worry Mr. Chair, this will be short just like me. Uh, I would like to uh, address yung sa yung abogado po ng GMA, uh, Panyero. Alam niyo po, uh, kilala ko yung mga gozo, ano? I, I even work with them kasi may production po ako right now. One is ongoing. Mga God-fearing and decent people po sila. They will not countenance this kind of behavior. Alam ko po yun for a fact. Ngunit, uh, Panyero, uh, nothing personal, ha? but if you are in denial... Uh, authority, <laughs> authority Pasho, dito lang muna po ang direct... Okay, ano, okay, sorry, ako. But I'd like to tell the counsel for GMA that if GMA, if if the legal is in denial of these things, ay hindi po natin mareremedyohan yan, uh, Mr. Chair. Alam niyo po, hindi na sana nangyari ito kay Sandro kung... 2009, 2011, mechanisms were put in place to avoid this kind of situation. Ah, uh, Panyero, alam nyo, nas, of course, hindi nyo alam yan, legal po kayo, hiwalay kayo sa production, but you have to know, Companyero, um, uh, Mr. Chair, the Companyero has to know that it is usual for production to close ranks in case there are complaints like this to cover it up. Kaya nga po ang proposal ko, yung mag-cover up ng mga ganito, we will be as liable as the principal who committed the sexual harassment. That is the only way na mapipigil. But at the point of uh, at the studios, not just GMA7 but other studios, nangyayari naman po ito sa lahat eh. Ha? Mechanisms must be put in place na immediate po yung action. Kito nyo po yung dalawang kaso ko. Wala pong ginawa. Nag-continuous employee yung nireklamo. Yung si Mr. Geister nag-continue pa rin bilang artista ng series. Yun pang nagreklamo ang napwersang umalis kasi hindi na niya maatim na nakikita niya doon sa set yung nireklamo niya na. Hindi naman tinanggal. So, kung nangyari po yan, kung ginawa lang ito noong 2009, so, more than a decade ago, wala po nang mangyayari sa ganito. So, sana po mag-commit ang GMA7 and the other studios na higpitan pa po itong mga ganito. Uh, in accordance with law sapagkat may mechanism na po doon sa 7877 ng complaint mechanism maluwag pong masyado at na nangyayari binabaliktad pa can you imagine I was just the messenger they shot the messenger dinimanda nila ako nagdemandahan kami nag-areglo lang kami at uh, uh, pinatawad ko ng mga kapwa abogado ko I had to sue your vice president then your legal then kasi ako na nga nagreklamo tinulungan ko na nga yung bata ako pang masama, sinisira ako daw yung reputasyon ng GMA7. Hindi po dapat ganun ang attitude, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Okay po. Uh, maraming salamat po, Attorney Ferdinand Tupasio. Attorney Ang Angelo Diokno. Opo. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Dito, dito, dito lang po. Yes, 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 Mr. Chair. Uh, I'd just like to thank the uh, Attorney the att Attorney Tupasio for the unsolicited le lecture regarding the matter. But again, we'd like to reiterate that GMS, GMA has had a policy against sexual harassment. And we have been strict about it. Again, we have never covered up any uh, incident of sexual harassment. Maybe he's, uh, there was just a problem regarding the reporting. There are different channels in the manner of reporting sexual harassment. Like what Mr. Gerard Santos did, he elevated it immediately to the president, to the COO. In fact, GMA has uh, a box there that you could just put there your complaint. And the COO, the president, will read it. So there are different avenues for GMA. If they say that uh, the department is not acting on it, they can go directly to legal, to HR, or to office of the president. So there are different avenues, Mr. Chair. So there is, again, I'd like to reiterate, uh, I'd just like to counter the impression that Attorney Topasio is creating, is uh, conveying to the public that GMA has a policy on cover-up. And legal is very active on the matter. We do not uh, encourage any uh, form of cover-up. Okay. In fact, if there is someone that is covering up the matter, we also file an uh, administrative case against them, Your Honor. We're very active on that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat po, Attorney Angelo Giocno.
uh, Sir Nino Mulak. Your Honor, I'd just like to ask um, uh, yung, uh, from Jimmy, no? kung ano po nangyari din sa decision kasi nag-file po kami ng, ng HR complaint and uh, the Jimmy has already uh, received a HR complaint and they said they will do their own investigation. So, uh, yun nga, ang parang so far yung they, they placed them under a preventive suspension but as Is there already a decision from the uh, yeah regarding the investi investigation? Okay, okay. Uh, sir, Attorney Angelo Jokno, ano pong development doon po sa investigation po niya? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, regarding that matter, while we are not the members of the investigating committee, uh, we'd like to confirm that the investigation is ongoing. I I, I believe the uh, the two alleged perpetrators here have already submitted their answer. I'm not sure if the camp of... Uh, Uh, Mr. Nino Mulak submitted additional evidence based on the findings of the NBI. That's why I think there is a supplemental NTE. And then after that, the, the investigation committee has 30 days to resolve the matter. And Attorney Anet, uh, Mr. Chair, has undertaken to furnish a copy to the committee of the resolution. So rest assured, uh, uh, Mr. Nino Mulak, that there will be a resolution regarding the matter. Currently, they are under preventive suspension. Okay. Uh, Sir Nino, so malinaw. na inantay din yun nila yung sa NBI so may 30 days po. Okay. Thank you Senator. Salamat po Sir Ninyo Mulak. Ma'am, Ma'am Attorney Maggie Abraham Garduke. Ma'am? Yes, Your Honor, please. Thank you very much Mr. Chair for allowing me the opportunity to speak, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Um, Your Honor, my only statement is that um, with, with due respect, Mr. Chair, I would like this Honorable Committee to look into the case of uh, Bengzon versus uh, Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, Your Honor, with respect to the jurisdiction uh, when a case is already filed, Your Honor. With due respect, just look into it, that the moment a case is already filed, especially in this case that it is already within the jurisdiction of the Department of Justice, so that there would not be any conflicting judgments and we do not violate the exclusive domain of jurisdiction, Your Honor. We let the Department of Justice investigate uh, and do the preliminary investigation that matter, Your Honor. Mr. Chair. Likewise, Your Honor, in the case of Bengzon versus Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, it was stated there the power of contempt of the Senate, Your Honor, where there is a period wherein how long does the detain, detain uh, detention in uh, uh, under contempt a person will be detained, Your Honor. That's all, Mr. Witt. Maraming salamat po, Attorney Maggie Abraham Gartuke. Marami na pong mga ganyang uh, naging usapin dito sa pagdinig po ng uh, Senado. Maraming salamat po at uh, nasa record po ang inyong sinabi. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay. Chair. Well, gusto ko lang naman pong kamustahin din si Chairman. Richard Cruz. Richard, Mr. Richard Cruz, kamusta po kayo? Nahay blood daw po kayo? Ay, hindi po. Uh, nagkaroon na po ako ng gastrointestinal bleeding. Uh, yes po. Well, uh, uh, Sir Richard, hindi po kami husgado ha? Huwag po kayong masyadong ma-stress ma o ano, ano lang po ito. Kailangan lang po tayo makagawa ng mga batas. At uh, uh, kayo po ay nakakatulong dito sa mga ganap na to At uh, ano, ano po kayo? Uh, relax lang. Uh, ano po ito? Uh, para po ito sa bayan. Yun na lang po ang isipin ninyo. Nakakatulong tayo sa bayan. Opo. Uh, may Mr. gusto po Chair. kayong sabihin? May gusto po kayong sabihin? Lang, uh, Gerard, uh, may gusto po ba kayong sabihin, uh, Sir Richard? Uh, wala na po. Opo. Okay, Sir Gerard. Uh, uh, Mr. Gerard, uh, gusto ko Gerard Santos, uh, okay. magpasalamat po sa uh, Senate Committee po uh, sa pagkakataon pong ito. At uh, ayun po kanina po, uh, isa rin po sa mga dahilan kung bakit din po ako nandito. Ayun, uh, na-invite po ako, salamat po. At uh, gusto ko pong mag-shed light and uh, uh, mukasan din po yung stigma dito po sa ganito pong uh, mga kaso. Kasi po, talagang kanin nga nabanggit nga ni Sandro talagang nakakahiya po talaga na na magsalita about about yung mga ganitong crossing cases kaya po ako ay nabit nga po ako ng five years bukod sa yun nga po wala po akong pedigree ako po ay baguhan nung po sa showbiz so wala po talaga akong lakas ng loob para magsalita so ako po gusto ko pong magsilbing uh, example po sa lahat na huwag po silang matakot ngayon dahil ngayon po may boses na po ang lahat ng tao 
Ayun po at uh, ayun po sa on on the part naman po ng GMA ay uh, yun po magkaroon po ng safeguard pa mas magkaroon pa po ng mga mga policies na talagang para mas maprotektahan po at uh, lalo na po sa mid level dahil po uh, pwede po talagang balikan kapag ka may nireklamo ka po ay uh, yung nireklamo niyo po yung mga kasamahan niya po diyan yung mga kaibigan niya ay talagang ano ka rin po pabalikan ka rin po nila. So, yun po. Sana po may, may makreate din po na policy and you know, po sa ganun po. Again po, maraming maraming salamat po, Senator Robin. Salamat po sa pagkakataon po ito. Isang tanong lang po sa GMA. Boss, si Mr. Gerald, na walang daw ng trabaho sa GMA, pwede ba natin bigyan ng trabaho? Eh, alam kong hindi naman yung decision yan, pero pwede bang ano naman? <laughs> Mr. Chair, yun nga yung sasabihin ko, eh. we don't have a say on the matter. Pero baka napanood naman ng mga boss yung statement nyo, Mr. Chair. Tingnan natin, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat po. Well, isang talong na lang po ako kasi, Ma'am Atty. Nancy G. Lozano, lagi pong nababanggit na meron tayong mga batas at meron tayong mga code na talagang hindi na uh, kapakinabang ngayon. Katulad daw po ng uh, ating revised penal ko. Naniniwala po ba kayo na obsolete na ito? Sir, yes po. Um, actually po, since 2011, the Department of Justice has been doing um, activities or initiatives to to revise and update the revised penal code. So in so uh, we uh, the DOJ created a criminal code committee in as early as 2013 i think and then in 2014 would we come up with a revised or parang in overhaul niya po yung revised penal code by incorporating yung mga bagong laws so there was a bill uh filed at the house of representative in 20 in 2011 and i think in 2017 po and dito naman po sa senate meron pong na-file in 2016. It was filed by then Senator D. D. Lima. But because there were two, yung version po ng sa House and sa Senate, magkaibang magkaiba. So right now po, the DOJ has created again or ni-revive po yung committee to to consolidate po yung dalawang uh, bill para po when we, when we filed it, sa House at sa Senate po, maayos na siya and also ma-update na, na rin ulit because from 2014, 2017, and 2023 po, so marami na pong kailangan i-update. So yun pong ginagawa po ng DOJ. Thank you po. Ma'am, napakalaga po kasi nito. Tama po kayo, no? Kasi dito nakabase tayo eh. Ang batas natin, dito nakabase. So makipag-coordinate po kami sa inyo. Sana, uh, insya Allah, hopefully, dito po sa ating uh, panahon, eh, mabago na po natin to insya Allah. Yes po. Thank you, sir. Maraming salamat po. Kung wala na pong magsasalita, pwede na po tayo siguro nga uh, mamahinay. Meron lang akong ma-advise kasi maraming tumatawag sa atin na ang sinasabi, bakit daw natin parang pinagiinitan ang chances? Eh, hindi po nangyayari yun. No? Wala po kaming pinagiinitan dito sa Senado. Opo, at uh, katunayan, kanina pa po uh, naririnig nyo naman nyo si Senator Jingoy na lagi niyang sinasabi na umaaksyon ang uh, GMA 7. At uh, bakit daw nawala yung Channel 2? Bakit daw hindi na raw natin tinawag? Eh, meron naman daw din, kaso naman din daw sa Channel 2 na eh, yung po kasing kaso na um, Gretchen, Gretchen, Pulido, Gretchen Pulido na nasa, ano na po yun, nasa court. Kaya mas minat, minatamis po natin, nakausap po natin si Atorna, Atorney Lorna Kapunan na pinag-usapan po namin talaga na huwag na muna pag-usapan dito. Okay, meron pa pong isa, yung sa Channel 5, na sinasabi nila na ito daw po ay pinag-usapan na sa programa ng Senator uh, Rafi Tulfo. Pero tinatalong din po ng tao, ba't hindi natin tinapatawag dito? Kaya po sana, Ma'am uh, Miss Bernadine Mahinay, kung meron po tayong paraan na uh, mapatawag din yung TV5, tsaka yung uh, sinasabing biktima, 
makipagtulungan po tayo sa office ni Senator Rafi Tulfo. Ay inuulit ko po, mga mahal kong kababayan na nanonood at nandito, hindi po kami korte. Wala po kaming uh, ano na magsabi kung sino ang guilty dito. Kami po nandito para gumawa ng batas, para tanungin po ang mga taong nandito, ang ating mga resource speaker, kung ano po ang pwede nilang makontribute sa atin. At mula po sa kanilang contribution, tayo po ay gagawa ng mga batas. Kung ngayon man po ay naka, nakasaksi po kayo ng meron pong nakontent, hindi po ibig sabihin na guilty na po si uh, Mr. Uh, Jojo Nunes. Nagkataon lang po na uh, sa amin pong aid of legislation, meron po siyang ayaw sagutin. Pero kapag yan po ay nasagot na niya, eh, sigurado naman po ako na magkakaroon muli ng musyon na siya ay palabasin o tanggalin ang kanyang kontem. Kung mga kababayan, huwag po tayo masyado mapaghusga dito sa usapin na ito dahil hindi po ito husgado. Ang mga nandi dito po ay pumutulong uli. Si Sir Nino Mulak, si Sir Sandro, ang NBI, ang, ang, uh, ang, uh, si Atty. Tupasio, si Gerald, si Mr. Jojo Nunes, si Mr. Richard Cruz, ang atang GMA, representative ng GMA, ang DOJ. Wala po dito nagsasabi na meron na may kasalanan. Opo, ito po, lahat nito para makagawa po tayo ng batas. At katulad po ng sinabi ni Ma'am Nancy Luzano, meron na po tayo mga obsolete na mga codes at mga batas na kailangan na po nating ayusin. Yung lamang po, maraming salamat po. Suspindido muna po ang pagdinig na to. Mabuhay po kayo.